Team Fortress 2 is an amazing game. Well, it was. I started playing TF2 around late 2012 on the Orange Box on the Xbox 360. It was a simple, charming game, and although there weren't many players, I had a lot of fun. There were only a few maps included with the game, but they were unforgettable. Hydro, Well, Two Fort, and Dust Bowl provided me with hours of fun and entertainment, and although the game hadn't been updated since 2009, I knew no better. What really stood out to me compared to TF2 nowadays is that it focused less on cosmetics and more on gameplay and core features, something that all games should do. I loved this game to bits, and then finally in 2013, I played TF2 on PC for the first time. It felt so much more different, the game was so much more alive, and I was extremely excited to play my favourite game on PC, with all these cool hats, misks, and weapons, something that previously I had no access to on the Xbox. There were new maps, the characters played differently, and for once I was able to pick up my buildings as engineer. I was hooked on TF2, and there was no turning back. I felt even then it was a game I would hold close to my heart forever. I had joined TF2 during the Robotic Boogaloo update of July 2013. And what can I say, I love that year in terms of updates, the community, and the content. Looking back, I wish that TF2 thrived as much as it did back then. I know nostalgia may be clouding my judgement, but I seriously think that around 2012 to 2013 was the highest point in TF2's history, probably rivalled only by the Love and War update in 2014. It was around this time TF2 was much more friendly, community based, and an overall nicer game. Big influences like Star and German 985 were really starting to make an impression, and Source Filmmaker was introduced to the public for free, resulting in a large variety of creative content and ideas from the TF2 community. An example of this being Kitty0706 with the Team Fabulous 2 video created in Gmod in 2012. With some introspection, it's not hard to see that this game has lost a lot of its charm that it once had. As the years went on, each update became less exciting and fewer content was included with them. A lot of things make this game amazing, and the soundtrack alone is enough to draw attention to this game. Take some time to sit down and listen to a few TF2 songs. They complement the game so well, and it fits the characters and setting perfectly. It's the one thing that the Valve developers never cheaped out on. Here's a quick clip of one of my favourite songs in the game. Take a quick listen and just imagine a scenario. The drums, the saxophone, the bass, they all tie in together perfectly to produce this funky, groovy tune that I just can't get enough of. The nine mercenaries are also what defines this game. Each has a funny, distinguishable personality, and their gameplay is vastly different to each other's. No other class-based shooter has been able to accomplish what Team Fortress 2 has. Each class's abilities are unique to them, and their balancing has, for the most part, been fine-tuned as best as possible. TF2's art style is exactly what I would expect for a cartoon shooter, and when I play it, I'm not taken out of the experience due to some weird data textures that don't hold up well today. It has held up surprisingly well considering it was made in 2007, while other games at the time look slightly dated nowadays. So, where did it all go wrong? Well, for the most part, there isn't one big defining event that killed TF2, so to speak. I'm gonna show you, L. With Ryuk's information and my preparations, I can continue to kill criminals whose names are broadcast on the news while masquerading as a typical high school student studying for his entrance exams. Just watch me, L. I'll solve equations with my right hand and write names with my left. I'll take a potato chip and eat it. The rather, lots of little ones that eventually added up to give us what we have today. What I think started the chain reaction was the gunmetal update in 2015. Don't get me wrong, it was a really fun and interesting update, but it introduced things that were previously found in games like CSGO that, quite frankly, TF2 didn't exactly need. 
The addition of weapon skins in general and tiered items is what started to make Team Fortress 2 feel less community based. The cases TF2 added in felt more like loot boxes made to suck up your money more than ever before and the inclusion of skins meant community skin mods were no longer allowed on official Valve servers, isolating a large portion of the community. Many claimed Overwatch to be TF2's killer but it didn't affect the community as much as people think. Yes it caused a drop in the playbase and a lot of people have eventually moved on to Overwatch. One of the more famous people being Muzelk, completely ditching his TF2 heritage and producing more Overwatch based content until Fortnite came along of course. Give it to me! Give it to me! Holy crap we got it! We are Thanos baby! Let's go! Another thing that has really affected this game are TF2's developers, or lack thereof. It's been said before and I'll say it again, Valve's developer system sucks for gamers. By allowing developers to pick and choose what they want to work on, a lot of TF2 devs have long gone to better, more interesting games. Nobody wants to be stuck working on messy code from an 11 year old game, when you could be testing out new VR headsets. One last factor I think is partly to blame for the dwindling playbase is the game itself, or more specifically its graphics. It's becoming dated and less and less relevant as the years go on. Why play TF2 when more impressive games are being released constantly? Games like Red Dead Redemption 2, Spider-Man and God of War are stunning to look at and their gameplay is incredible. Contrast this to an 11 year old game and it's no contest which game looks objectively better. Sure, TF2's art direction is as some people say, timeless, but I think a lot of players, especially the newer generation, would rather play something like Fortnite or Overwatch which both have fun gameplay and nice graphics. At the end of the day, nobody is to blame. The times are changing and old games like TF2 are guaranteed to become more obsolete as time goes on. And sadly, nowadays TF2 has felt rather empty with most of my favorite community servers being shut down due to a lack of people. So then, what can be done to fix TF2? At this point, not much. Its dev team has neglected it to the point of no return, and it seems that from now on it'll be a decent game at best in the eyes of the average gamer. A new dev team could fix it at this point, but TF2's glory days have long gone. All games have had their time, and TF2's is passing. I'm not saying we should ditch the game entirely, it's still going strong after all these years, and it will take a long time to die out completely. But lately, it seems like people have moved on to bigger games. Sure, a big update will draw a lot of players suddenly, but after the hype, they will run off like they always do. Let's face it, TF2 was an amazing game.